Yo, what's good, YouTube family? Spence Locks here. Monday Night Football. Weird night. I know it's not just me. We're going to go over the results, uh, as I always do with you guys. And I'm trying to make more of these videos. Drop me a like right now, guys. I appreciate it. It's going to fire me up to get you guys some fire locks for this weekend. Drop me a like. Drop me a comment. If you got nothing to say, just comment the word locks. Helps me on the algorithm. And I'm really focused on pumping out these videos for you guys. Uh, you know, and obviously we can't win every single night. We're going to go over it. We're very fucking close. Uh, but we can't win every single night. But just like with players and with everything, when... Um, you know, you're regressing a little bit, it leaves a lot of room for a big bounce back. So although we did crush Monday night last time, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, last week, it's okay. You know, wins and losses is part of being bosses, but hustlers are going to survive. We're going to talk about my reactions a little bit. And honestly, I was a little bit surprised. I knew Kansas City would win. I told you guys Kansas City would win So in my last video. So if you use that information and just slam Kansas City money line, I mean, congratulations, you won. And and honestly, if you took Kansas City on the spread, too, you cashed as well. Um, I honestly, with all of the money being on Kansas City, and I really thought that, I knew they would win the game, but I really thought that the Saints would cover. And, you know, they almost came within a touchdown at the end if they didn't throw the interception. Um, or Olave didn't drop the ball. We're going to talk about Mr. Olave here in a second. He might be on the ban list for parlays in the future my man had 10 receiving yards on the fucking night and they were losing the game um which is interesting um but yeah the, the, it where it very well almost could have been a six point game where the chiefs won by six and then that would have been very very suspect because obviously the spread was five and a half and um but now nah, we we could have won that game the chiefs looked really really good i'll be honest and you know the chiefs looked very very good um Mahomes can't and it just either the if it was just me or do you guys feel like the Chiefs were on the TV screen on offense for like 95% of the game like these guys were driving down the field burning clock um, the whole entire time I rarely saw the Saints on the field uh, Derek Carr just didn't really have an impactful night I knew Alvin Kamara would be shut down and I had a lot of good picks and a lot of good uh, player prop leans that I had recommended in my video. I hope you guys took those into accountability uh, or into action. One of them was the kicker for the Chiefs. I had him above kicking points. Butker, he ended up cashing. We're going to go over uh, the slip that I sent out on my VIP yesterday. Um, so I had Alvin Kamara. I told you guys that the Chiefs defense was going to be very good on this type of rush. And, yeah, he, he didn't even get close to this. Uh, he had 66 he needed 103.5 rushing and receiving yards. So I called that one out. I told you guys also Travis Kelsey was going to have a night. He did have a night, and we cashed that one as well. We cashed Kareem Hunt. I told you guys he was going to be running the ball. Kansas City was going to be up, and he was going to be playing way more than Carson Steele, who's been fumbling the ball a lot, and this one cashed effortlessly. And so we went three for four. So if you guys just did my picks from VIP on your own slips or you guys just kind of locked those in as single one man or two man slips i sent out the slips because i don't know I, I think you guys like when i put them into parlays but to be honest like obviously two mans if you do one player prop like if you just took what i had told you guys and did like kelsey and receiving yards and you just lock that in on a sports book solo then yeah like you hit uh but i personally like was going for the the 10x right here and we came short uh but i think like tell me if i'm wrong correct me if i'm wrong guys but like, I give you guys a ton of player prop leans up at the top. And hopefully, like, you guys, you know, whether you did two mans, one mans, or you know, three or four man, obviously the more players that you add in, the sketchier that it gets. This is harder for every single one to cash. But even though it's an L, we did the Saints on the spread, and we did this for VIP. We went 0-2. But, I mean, I would say, like, we're in the, re we're in the, in the clear. Like, how is Olave, who is their wide receiver one, getting only 10 receiving yards in the game. And, I mean, to be honest, he had four yards until about the fourth quarter. And I was looking at that like, no way this fucking man is about to crush our slip. Um, but he did. And, you know, congratulations to the Chiefs locking him down. Uh, the Saints couldn't really do much all game, guys. It was crazy to watch. They, they, the Chiefs were owning shit. Um, you know, but we got Thursday night football. 
We got one game between the 49ers and the Seahawks. You guys already know I'm coming at you guys with an analysis. I'm going to hook you guys up with some player prop leans. VIP is going to eat. And we're talking about VIP real quick, guys. Because of the loss, I'm going to be hooking you guys up with 25% right now. I just got a new 25% off code right now. If you guys want to slam it on the week or on the month, use code TUBE, like T-U-B-E, code TUBE. It's going to give you guys uh, 25% off either the week. If you guys want three days, but I wouldn't do three days. Uh, I would do the week or the month. And just use code TUBE. It's going to give you 25% off. And so you can lock in with me. If you do the week, then we're going to be good for, uh, you know, the entire weekend, whatever day you lock it in. Um, or I got two left season passes left. And if you see, like, the monthly is 249 so 250 So two months, you know, or you can get the full entire season up until the Super Bowl uh, in February. So it's like... November, October, November, December, January, February, like five more months of football action for the price of two months. You, there's two of those left. You can lock in with me. Um, but yeah, guys, like I'm pretty shook, to be honest. Not going to lie. I'm pretty shook. Uh, <laughs> but it is what it is. And we're going to get back into it uh, for Thursday night football. I'm going to be cooking now, today, tomorrow, and going to get you guys some good locks. I feel good about Thursday. Um, like I said, I knew the Chiefs were going to win the game, but the question was by how much, and they ended up winning by too much. Unfortunately, the Saints could have won that game if they pulled their heads out of their asses, but I feel like every single week, guys, we get more and more, like, we watch the teams. And it's tough because, like, some of these teams that were really good last year are dog shit this year. Um, but, you know, every week that we see these teams play, I get more valuable information. And I hope you guys enjoy the information, at least. Um, I'm going to be the guy that – I'm not going to be the guy on here that comes in and just flexes wins every single day. I hope that you guys could at least appreciate the transparency and me just coming on here and saying, like, yeah, we chalked, we went 0-2, but this is what we did. This is what we could have did better. This is what we did do. We came close, but, you know, we didn't cash. And maybe hopefully some of you guys took some of my player prop leans um, and did your own kind of slips and maybe cashed. Or – uh you guys took my Chiefs are going to win and just kind of ran with that and, and didn't lock in the Saints, and maybe you cashed. So that's the video for today. Kind of short, kind of kind of whatever, but I'm trying to get content out. So if you guys want me to keep making content, just show me some love on the video. It'll, I'll see that, and I'll be like, damn, these, the boys want me to keep cooking. I'm going I'm to keep cooking, you know. Uh, like I said, it's not always going to be a perfectly plated dish, but I'm going to stay in the kitchen for you boys until we get that Gordon Ramsay special. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Spence Lux, out. Oh.